Hello Tuesdays, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be having a look as he scrabbles around for the Airfix, we're going to be looking at the Airfix 1 in 72 scale Messerschmitt 109E 4. I do like the E, I think it's the, be the best of the uh, of the ME 109s. I'm an FW190 fan myself, uh, but if I had to pick a, an ME 109, I'd pick the E. Uh, I know this has been out a while. Uh, I believe this is. I got this uh, from a buyer on eBay. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of those that they, you know, we we we've got a store called Little over here, a low cost store, uh, supermarket, and for a few years, Airfix were putting or they were getting them off Airfix. I don't know whatever whatever the deal was. And they were selling them for around nine quid, and of course everybody, all the modellers went berserk, charging down there. So you know, I think they're supposed to be for, for the stocking fillers for kids uh, for Christmas. But uh, I, th I think basically they were they were these kits, uh, and they are um, I was going to say skill level one as, as Airfix. Uh, well, as I build on a 0.5 skill skill level, where it might be a bit above me, but uh, we'll we'll have a look. But they also put starter kits in there, where the same kit, but they put a couple of disposable paint pots in there, and I'll, you know, a brush and hand, you know, just to for the kids to paint them really. And a little one of the tube of glue we used to use as kids. And it's funny, it's still around, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I, it's just come through that I've got this for nine quid, and that included the postage, uh, which. I thought was you know a decent deal. I've just had a quick look because it's only a couple of sprues. I'm building the Armour Hurricane Mark One at the moment. Uh, I've done the cockpit apart from I've got to uh, put some decals on. Uh, the, they've got decal uh, harness straps and and uh, a decal for the uh, cockpit uh, instruments. So I've got to do that. Um, and I just thought well I'll keep my eye out for because I, I like the one in seventy two scales. I mean. You know, I build most things, but uh, I can keep I can display them for a bit longer because at, at that scale, um, I don't, I don't, I only have a limited space, and that they'll end up going in the bin when I don't, uh, when, when I need a more shelf space, and uh, yeah, so um, it's just it's just nice scale. I built them as a as a youngster, and I've got no problem. You know, I don't have any views of oh, there's not enough detail in them or whatever I'm I'm quite happy sticking them together and uh, the, obviously I've got a load of build projects on the go I've got a load of painting projects on the go and I do apologize I keep meaning to turn that off I did turn it off on the last video and then forgot to stick my Ukraine flag up uh, anyway so uh, yeah um, I, I really like them and I've just had a look at this one and it's uh, it's fairly straightforward kit uh, you know what, what they call them like for making on a weekend and that well I can never do that it normally takes me it takes me a few weeks just an hour here and a couple of hours there but I think the main thing is with it, any type of kit building is just getting the enjoyment out of it or figure painting for that matter it doesn't you know it's uh, if it takes I've got that badger textured at the moment and I've still got to add weld beads on it and stuff but I've got all the texture on if that takes me two two months or more to, to complete even longer I'm not that fussed uh, the same with the motorbike the motorbike hasn't had any love it's in the same drawer uh, back there uh, all laid out keep keep the dust off it um, and I will get around to doing more I think I think what's been a slog with the motorbike is it's the stop start there's a heck of a lot more stop start uh, than there would be on say a military kit in my opinion uh, just you know different colors now it's different decals Decals aren't laying down great, and uh, I'll, I'll get there. It'll, it'll get finished. Um, as I say, it's almost at the stage where it can all go together. Really, it's just a few decals, and I've got to put some um, black paint in a couple of the the fairing pieces uh, that's supposed to be black, uh, and then it's ready for its green paint. But uh, we'll get there when we get there. So anyway, we're not talking about this, are we? So let's go down to the bench and take a quick look. Right, guys. Uh, as I say, this this isn't showing you know any of the full-on aircraft modelers out there. Uh, they may not have even bothered to touch uh, you know an easier one in seventy-two scale kit. But obviously, this has been out a while. Um, but I like to show things on the on the channel that I've come across, uh, and there might be people out there that that you know 
have never uh, picked up anything like this before I might just want to have a give it a look so there's our 109E and we've got a Spitfire oh, no it's telling me that's as far back as I can go fair enough I'll be off the bench if I'm not careful so yeah we've got a bit of artwork uh, I'm not going to go all around the the reeking as we say over here but uh, we only get one decal option and that's for uh, let me look around the camera because I've got through the thing with my glasses. Oberleutnant Anton Schoen of the 9th Jagdgeistvander 54 in the Netherlands in January 1940. Uh, I'm, if you wanted to go to the expense of getting uh, other decals you can do. They're made by the well-known Italian firm of Cartograph so they're going to be decent. Uh, the only This was fully wrapped up by the way so I just slipped the package and had to get it open. Um, the only thing that I'd say against it was these very nice cartograph decals which we'll have a look at now. Uh, they had no film covering them and it was, they were slightly stuck to uh, the deck. They've got a separate decal sheet uh, to, sorry, to tell you where your stencils go. And I did have a, a worry that you know bits were going to be pulled off it. Uh, but we seem to have got away with it. So a whole load of stencil data there. Uh, obviously at this scale you can't read it. Uh, you know Whether it actually does say anything I don't know. But it'll all get applied or as much as I can do. Uh, sometimes the very tiny little bits with different pressures on and things like that. <laughs> numbers. They're so tiny and sometimes if you don't get them on right first time you literally lose them. <laughs> so we'll see. But I, I am one for even if you can't properly see what it is. Um, I do like to apply on a stencil day to where possible. So, yeah, just the one decal option. As I say, uh, if you're if you've got the the money to, you know, go and buy separate decals, then obviously it can be whatever you want it to be uh, within the range of that uh, that particular uh, plane. Uh, I, I I've always liked the Battle of Britain. Um, it's uh, I, I, when I was a youngster I used to read about and I still do uh, obviously we've got Wikipedia and everything now uh, before it was just books but I'd often get books out of the library or, or you know, if I was fortunate to get my hands usually on second hand books um, I used to read up on all the different pilots from the Royal Air Force obviously all the uh, the Empire pilots uh, the the free pilots flying you know, uh, with the Czechs and the Poles um, anybody really and, and and the German you know the, the other side I read up on the German pilots and the Italians the Italians were there as well in small numbers for a short while um, but uh, I was always fascinated about the people that flew them so uh, and I also like the the color schemes as well um, the, the German planes particularly is obviously very uh, a bit differently plane to plane squadron to squadron so you've got a bit more variation there as well uh, I'm yet to decide if I could get my airbrush, I think I've got 0.2 uh, so whether I could get it to actually do that mottling on the side or whether I have to use a brush I don't know we'll see so that's that uh, quick look at the instructions I'll say I'm a bit uh, short for space uh, it really is a fairly straightforward aircraft it's actually got a nice bit of engine detail Um, but yeah, uh, there we go. It's not massively, it's not massively difficult to put together. Uh, we'll have a look at that engine in a minute. And they do several variants of this. Uh, there's a couple of other colour schemes. Uh, obviously, you usually get just the one in them. I mean, for nine quid, you know, as we again, the old saying is over here. What do you want? Jam on it. Uh, you know, it's. For, for that price, and I don't mean the price I bought it, but if you got these out a little for nine quid, I mean one set of decals is, is good enough. Right, let's have a have a look. Here's our main fuselage. Let's have a zoom into that engine detail. So we've got a nice little engine in there. Obviously you'd have a seam down the middle if you were going to keep it. I mean I'm just going to cover mine up, but uh, I did have a look the more accomplished modelers, there's our engine cowling, uh, two MGs in the in the top. 
Uh, she has a 20 millimeter cannon that fires through the boss of the propeller. So it sits down uh, in between the engine. Uh, we've got weight on wheels. And there's our hole for our cannon to go through. So it's just got the one cannon. I believe I'm, I'm not a, an expert on these. I can't remember if it had MGs, just another couple of machine guns in the wings, or if they were cannon. I think there were wings on the uh, machine guns on the E version, which is the single 20 mil uh, in the nose. The only thing I thought was slightly probably more ropey was the uh, exhausts. Again, I'm no expert, so I'd have to have a, a look, but they just they looked a bit meh. But I might be wrong. Uh, propellers all in one go. The Armour Hobby one I'm doing at the moment, I've, I've done a very nice job of sticking individual propeller blades into the uh, the, the propeller boss and everything, put it together and then realised I was doing, the one I'm doing has got a two-tone uh, propeller boss and I'm just thinking, oh good lord, <laughs> try to get the masking on that but this one, this one's already done so there we go, that's that, so it's just one more sprue to show you, I won't show you the clear parts um, oh you get the pilot, do you get the pilot in? yeah, we missed, oh, let's quickly show you the pilot people always like to see a pilot there we go. I was thinking of actually, you know, he's not great, but I thought I might actually stick him in and have him just sat in the open canopy with the with the 109. The, the canopy swings to the side, so uh, I might I might have him as if he's just sitting there waiting for you know orders to go. People go on about airfix panel lines uh, um, I thought I tried to have a go at the Sea Fury and that did seem to be quite deep but I've always said I'm no expert what do I know I don't make enough to be have too much of an opinion on it so you know whether obviously that's for the um, wheels up version uh, whether you think they're too deep or not that's up to you but I'm happy enough with that as I say I, I do believe it's a nice little kit Got our wheel struts and there's some not and you can have uh, posable flaps on these as well so let's just have a look they've got uh, because they would have been canvas I believe and they've made a nice job of the you see if the canvas is sunk in a bit and you just cut these tabs off from what I read in the instructions so I'll have to have a look on I've seen enough 109 photographs over the over 40 50 odd years I should uh, I should be able to remember, but I can't. Uh, as in, when they're sat on the ground, if the flaps slightly droop down or not, and we'll, we'll have a look. But I just thought I was doing the I was doing the hurricane, and I thought to myself, well, when I saw this for for the price, I just thought it would be nice to do a, a battle of the Brit battle of Britain ME109E. Um, it's it's weird. Uh, I mean, the Spitfire is always a beautiful aircraft, but it's it's never been something that's had a mad pull on me. Uh, Hurricane's okay, um, you know. But again, I'm building the Hurricane. Uh, it's just because it's more about the guys that flew them for me more more than anything. Um, I probably would have preferred not that they did a lot really in the Battle of Britain, it was more in the opening stages, the Gloucester Gladiators, um, the old biplane, I, I quite like that one. Uh, I was more into, I mean Charlie Mack had done a had done a, a walrus uh, and I'm more into like, that type of stuff as well. Uh, but I suppose out of all the aircraft of the Battle of Britain, uh, I suppose the 109E actually probably, uh, I, I, I probably more just for the colour schemes than anything, I just you know the, the 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 Germans obviously went to town on the different colour schemes. Um, I, I like uh, some of the later war aircraft, like I say, the 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 one the one ninety um, things like that. But uh, anyway, I'm waffling as always. I just wanted to have a you know if anybody sees these, you know nine quid, ten quid. You can still there's a lot on eBay for nine quid still. 
uh, and that's with the delivery. I think people probably thought they were going to make a, a killing by buying all these up and then selling them more, a bit, you know, make a couple of quid on each one. But uh, I think so many people tried that on that there <laughs> probably isn't the market for them. But yeah, you can get these nine quid. Uh, you can get these uh, sometimes eleven. You know, about ten or eleven quid with a bit of postage involved as extra people want more money for the postage. But uh, yeah, they're, they're just just nice little kits. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people like my mate Joe like to do the one in forty eight. Uh, but these are, I always joke. You know, I like the world in miniature and and these little one in seventy twos. Uh, I, I love to see them done well. Mine won't be done well, <laughs> but. But there are people out there that have made some really nice jobs of these little airfix uh, fighters. So look after yourselves, guys. Two videos in a day. I know, you know, you, I've got, I say I'm spoiling you. Uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's about it. What have I got coming up? I've still promising the Vietnam bus that needs to get sorted. Uh, I've got some Western figures to show you, just three, but uh, you know, again, better than nothing. And uh, we shall have a, a Napoleonic 28mm French infantry unit, uh, all based and colours flying. should see that Sunday or Monday. So, again, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. And we'll catch each other, more than likely, very soon on another video.